a sequence? I'm glad you asked. One dictionary definition is the following of one thing after another, which is pretty vague. And I'm glad for that because in the context of music, if we think of music as an, an art, art in, in which, which time, time is the, is medium, the medium, a sequence could be just about anything. And if we look back to early synthesizer history, we can see that that's just about always been the case. Don Buchla named his sequencer the arbitrary function generator, which makes electronic sense as such a thing already existed as a piece of test equipment, but it also makes sense for a modular electronic music box or synthesizer because the word arbitrary seems to imply that it could be used for absolutely anything within the system. In particular, I've been thinking about the fact that a lot of modern music tools have more than one sequencer. And we can easily use one sequencer to arbitrarily sequence another sequencer. Sequence sequencing. Sequencing the sequence. Sequence, 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 sequence. Anyway, why not use the zero control to sequence among and between a whole bunch of simple sequences on the Rene? I'm talking extremely simple, like maybe two steps each. So let's get started. So on each of the first eight states of Rene, I've created a two-step sequence. On the state select page, we can hear each of them. Very simple sequences, just two notes each. Let's patch the pitch channel of the zero control to the ZCV input and tune the eight steps of zero control so that they are mapped to these eight micro sequences. Four, sure that Z on is turned on on the global page and we can do this while looking at the program pages as well. This means that we can program them as we go. run this Optomix channel output through the next channel's input and use a slow decay envelope faded out after each touch plate press, triggering the maths with the touch gate output and then using the maths to open this Optomix channel, like so. Since this is now played by hand with silence between events, it'll be good to have a kind of metronome to give us an idea where we are in time. So let's patch up a little kick drum. Use the divide by one from the tempi to trigger this maths channel. And we'll use it to open the mod to mix. And we'll monitor the output of the Mondi mix. Send our Optimix back to the aux input. Let's add a little timbral control with the pressure CV output. 
Now we can also make additional alterations to some of these states while we're at it, like using uh, different multiples, for example. Or we could activate additional steps on the access page on certain states. Let's bring in a little delay and reverb while we're at it here. Nothing stopping us from turning on the zero control clock too. You turn that on, let's uh, combine the touch gate and clock output together. <laughs> so that we can get notes from either output. From here, we could start adding more changes and distinctions to the different Rene states, adding complexity where we want it, and stripping down where we want. Or we could build in the use of other Rene channels, sequence things other than pitch. It's really up to you. Happy patching. Thank <laughs> you.